You are everyone, it's Ace here from Team RCC. I'm going to show you uh, how to apply a band set to a catapult for OTT, over the top. Now this catapult is a Wasp Unifox. I've got a couple of them, most of my team's got them. Great little frame to get you into catapults. Uh, they shoot over the top, TTF, they've got holes for tubes. Highly recommended, so uh, visit wasps website or you'll find him on facebook just put in wasp slingshots in your search bar on google you'll find him anyway band set i've got lines drawn on this as you can see for me active taper it makes it easier to band up two strips of ferroband gold now work out which side you're holding the frame in which hand the amount of times i've put the bands on the wrong way around honestly right hand so the band's going to have to come over so it'll be over here this side first so just make sure though you've got everything right because as i said it's annoying to do it wrong and have to untie it now these tips i think are 20 or 21 i'll have a quick look because it's good to know they're actually 19 millimeters and these bands are 23 so it's going to have to wrap around a bit so I'll position my band and I'll keep messing around like this until I can see where I want them to be. Get my line on there right in the middle of the groove. Make sure everything is level where I want it. Then I'll start to wrap. The most fiddly bit is getting it on. Now I'll place it on and then get my thumb over the top of it like that. And then I don't, I pull away from the band at first because if you pull round on it, you'll pull the elastic round with the wrap. And I don't like doing that. So I'll pull away, get a stretch on the band, and then kind of tuck it in. Get your finger on the back to hold it in place. Get back round. It's a bit fiddly. And then over. And then you're going to have to just duck your thumb out of the way real quick. And then that's it, you've got that first wrap on. Once the first wrap's on, it becomes easier. Keep it nice and taut, wrap it round. Now, as you can see, I've got a lot of excess here. That excess is not needed. I could cut that right down short, but rather than do that, I just fold it over. So I'll fold it over the elastic like that, and then wrap over the top of that. As I said, that's just because I cut my band sets that little bit longer. It's really not needed to have it that long. You could do it shorter, but that's just the way I do it. And it's a way of getting rid of that. Or you could just leave it and cut it off with a pair of scissors, whichever your preference is. Keep wrapping round. These wraps that I'm using are... About 130 centimetres long and around six millimeters wide. Keep wrapping round. At some point we go over the string, so we need a piece of string like that. This is thin whipping twine. I'll fold it over, lay it on the elastic. Now you could do this on the front side of the frame or the back side of the frame, it doesn't matter. I tend to do it on the, the back side of the frame, so the side that's facing away. Wrap your string, uh, your elastic over the top of the string and then continue to wrap around, I'd say about three times over the string is enough. <coughs> that's twice and that's three times over. And then you get the edge of your elastic and you feed it through the loop. Like that. And it wants to go through. Pull it through. And then get the ends of the string and just pull them down. And what will happen is you'll pull the elastic underneath itself. Pull it down. You can pull it all the way through if you want. I don't bother. I always leave a little bit on top. Because if I want to take these off really quick, I can just pull that and it'll snap it all out. The other side is a little bit trickier because we want it all to match up. So I align the elastic on, support it with my thumb. And uh, I just mess around and have a look to make sure everything is where I want it to be. Which it pretty much is. And again, we just repeat the process. Make sure you've got your bands in the middle. 
you can mess around with this for ages then get your elastic place it on the band groove so hold it with your thumb and draw it round I again I draw away and then round to stop it stretching the, the band around I told you this one was more fiddly but once you get that first one round and it's holding itself like that it then becomes much easier again I've got this excess you could just cut that off with scissors you could leave it there whatever but I like to keep it neat so I fold it up and then fold the elastic over the top of that I suppose it'd be neater if I just made my band sets that little bit shorter but that's just me I get stuck in a way of doing something keep folding round try to keep it all neat and level some people just put so much of this on it's really not needed I just use guesswork when I come over the string I don't count some people count they'll be like eight round and three over the string whatnot I tend to not really bother the more you do it the more you get used to how many times you're doing it anyway you kind of muscle memory Ooh, once over twice over three times over this one's over one more time than the other doesn't make a difference through the loop and pull the knot through with the string sometimes just pulling on the string can rip this so what I tend to do is get my fingers there and just level that out with my fingers and that'll do for me again I've not pulled it all the way through I've left it because I can get that and pull it and unravel it level wise we're pretty good always get this little cave bit in the bands I call it the where the fold is facing downwards I don't know why I just do it facing downwards and most everyone else does pull it back make sure we're pulling everything level over and that looks pretty goddamn good for me in fact that's a very short draw that these are gonna really pack a punch to be fair it's gonna take probably 10 shots to uh, get them in that is how we attach flat bands to an OTT shooter at RCC. Thanks everyone for watching.